Hello everyone. Welcome back to another SpaceX update video. Booster 10 is preparing for testing at the launch site soon. A temporary road closure is scheduled for tonight to facilitate its transportation. We expect either Booster 10 or Starship S-28 or maybe both to arrive at the launch site during this period. Unfortunately, Starship S-26 seems to be facing a different fate. It appears SpaceX will scrap this unfinned and gleaming prototype. They still need to test the performance of the TPS tiles during Starship re-entry, and S-26 is unlikely to be a fitting candidate. Meanwhile, in Florida, a Falcon Heavy stands tall on Pad 39A, ready for tonight's launch of the USS F-52 mission. The Space Force's X-37B space plane occupies the payload fairing. The weather forecast predicts a 60% chance of violating launch conditions, so we'll have to keep a close eye on that. This will be SpaceX's fifth and final Falcon Heavy mission of the year and the 94th overall launch of the year, including two Starship flights. It's been an incredible year for SpaceX and the space industry as a whole, ushering in a new era of exciting and captivating space exploration. On December 8th, Chinese rocket company Landspace once again made headlines by successfully launching their methane-powered Zook-2 rocket, carrying the first payload to space. I am planning to create a video detailing how this company is developing the Zook-3 rocket, a near copy of the SpaceX Falcon 9. On Friday, United Launch Alliance conducted a wet dress rehearsal for their Vulcan Centaur rocket at Space Launch Complex 41. This full-duration launch countdown simulation is a mandatory step before the rocket's maiden flight, the CERT-1 mission scheduled for December 24th. As of now, there is no official word on the outcome of the rehearsal, but we expect an update soon. That is it for this short update video, and I will see you in the next one.